Doctor, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We are going to go back over those numbers. Let's talk about those national numbers first. In the past week, 204,000 children in the U.S. tested positive for COVID-19. That is a five-fold increase from a month ago. So do you expect the numbers to go even higher now that many kids are back in class? I think we can definitely expect an increase depending on what the local transmission is. We're certainly seeing that in areas of the country with lower vaccination rates, with lower levels of restrictions in terms of mask wearing, social distancing, et cetera, we are seeing that children, um, because they form a larger percentage of the pool of unvaccinated people, are forming a larger percentage of the cases that we're seeing. Students are required to wear masks indoors at least through October 1st. Let's let's rank the tools in the arsenal to fight COVID-19. Do you think masks are more important than, say, social distancing? And, and then would you rank the hand washing? Spell it out for us. Great. I love how you talked about the, the tools, plural, because we, I think, sometimes can rely too much on Massachusetts having a higher vaccination rate than so much of the country and thinking that we can ease up on the other restrictions, but they're all tools. And I would hate to rank saying, oh, if you wear a mask, then therefore you don't have to worry about other uh, other tools. And I think they're equally important. Wearing a well-fitting mask, wearing um, a mask, especially when indoors, in crowds, when you don't know the vaccination status of other people, good hand washing, good distancing, and of course, making sure that everyone who is eligible to get vaccinated has received the appropriate series of vaccines. And I would say they're all equally important and we can't um, ease back on any one of those um, items until we're at a much better place with respect to our overall vaccination status. Many parents have questions about masks specifically. <clears throat> so do you think cloth masks <laughs> offer enough protection or do you think students should would be safer wearing surgical masks? That's a great question. I think there's so many different layers, no pun intended, um, to talking about masks. Remembering that surgical masks are designed to be worn in the short term for smaller medical encounters, et cetera. And thinking about kids, they are drinking water, they are adjusting their mask, they might be hanging a mask over their ear when they're eating, getting them wet, getting them you know, dirty, et cetera. And knowing that the integrity of those surgical masks is going to um, be lost sooner than a cloth mask. So well-fitting cloth mask with multiple layers, with a nose piece to allow for a good fit, all of that um, in a mask that a child feels comfortable in is going to be far better than a surgical mask that might be good at the outset, but might lose its integrity over the course of a school day. Good point. You probably want to wash that cloth too. So here's Absolutely. a question we got. That's a good point. Thank you for making that. Well, here's a question we got from a mom this week. Jill writes, my son goes to school in a carpool with his friends. I just found out one of the parents who drives them is not vaccinated. Are they still safe in the car if they're wearing masks? That's a great question. I'm sure there are going to be many iterations of that question being asked this fall. When I think about children, I really think about what makes them safer. I think it's really hard to say something is safe or someone is safe during a global pandemic. So thinking about what, what makes them safer. So clearly everyone in that carpool wearing masks is going to be safer than not, and everyone should be, not just the people who are vaccinated, but wearing masks decreases transmission all around. Ideally, of course, everyone is going to be vaccinated. Um, remembering that carpool, um, it's an indoor space, not great ventilation. So opening the windows is going to approximate um, outdoors a little bit better. So having windows open, having as many people vaccinated as possible and wearing masks for the entire time. And of course, um, you know, using hand sanitizer before and after is all gonna make, um, make children safer. All great advice. All right, Dr. Madhavan, Clinical Director for Pediatric Infectious Disease at Mass General Hospital. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.